Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW Weekly Meal Prep. I cannot wait to share with you the three recipes that I made for this week. So I made a fantastic breakfast recipe and two lunch recipes. So I cannot wait to share them with you. They are all WW friendly and they are all filling, satisfying, and of course, absolutely delicious. So if you're looking for some good weekly meal ideas for breakfast and lunches, you could even make the lunch one for dinner. If that works better for your schedule, then all you have to do is just keep watching. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to be making mini waffles and I'm going to do an egg and turkey sausage scramble. So I'm going to have a home style country breakfast, which I am so excited about. So first, let me show you what you're going to need to make the protein waffles. So first, you're going to need some egg whites, some protein powder. Devotion, as you know, is my very favorite. This is the angel food cake. It has 20 grams of protein and only one smart point per scoop. So it is so low in points, it is delicious. My favorite thing to do with the angel food cake is baking, but it also makes a fantastic protein shake as well. And again, 20 grams of protein for only one smart point. No weird whey or protein aftertaste, which is what I love about Devotion. You can order this online on the Devotion website. Use my code here on the screen to save yourself 10%. So not a bad deal. Down in the description box, click the link, enter the code, and you'll save 10%. So no waffle is made in this house without the devotion. And then I'm going to have some Birch Benders pancake and waffle mix. You can also use Kodiak cake. So whatever your preference is, this is the protein version of the Birch Benders. And then you're going to need some ground cinnamon and also some water or seltzer water. And I'm out of seltzer water, so I'm just gonna go with regular water. And again, I'm gonna have some eggs, and into my scrambled eggs, I'm just going to add some of these Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. So let's get started on our mini waffles. So the first thing we need to do for our mini waffles is go ahead and grab yourself out a bowl. To that, you're going to add your egg whites. Now the original recipe calls for three egg whites, but I am one and a half timesing the recipe because I'm looking to make three meal preps. My best friend is here through Tuesday, so I only need a breakfast meal prep prep for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I am one and a half timesing the recipe. So then I also have just shy of half of a cup of the Birch Benders protein mix. And we're gonna add some ground cinnamon, and then this again is just kind of to your to your taste. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. And then we're going to add one and a half scoops of our Devotion Angel Food Cake Protein Powder. Oh, I love this stuff. So there's one and a half scoops of the protein powder. And then we're going to add in our water. Now what I have here is two thirds of a cup, but I'm going to kind of mix my waffle mix as I go and I don't want it too runny. That's what happened the last time I made this and it just makes a big mess in your waffle maker. So I'm just gonna kinda add water until I have the consistency of the waffle mix that I want. And you guys, these waffles are so incredibly easy to make and they are so good. So just mix it until you've got the consistency that you're looking for. So I didn't quite use the entire two thirds cup, but there is our mini waffle mix. Let's get our waffle iron warmed up and I'll show you how to make the waffles. So to make our mini waffles, you're gonna need your cute little waffle maker. This is the Dash mini waffle maker. I did purchase this off of Amazon. I want, it's under $12. It is linked down in my Amazon store below. I love this thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and get it opened up. You'll take some nonstick cooking spray and we're just going to generously spray both sides of our waffle maker, and then you're going to add in your mix. Now, I don't know exactly how many waffles this amount of mix is going to make. If I have extras, 
totally fine. I can go ahead and just have those on hand. My husband can eat them. Rachel and I can eat them while she's here. But you wanna make sure you add just the right amount of waffle mix. Close your little waffle maker and your light here will click off when it is ready to go. So I'm just going to repeat this three times. I'll show you what our completed waffles look like. So here is our completed mini waffle, you guys. These are so cute. They are the perfect size for breakfast. So I'm gonna finish cooking up the rest of my waffles. It looks like it's gonna make at least four. So I'll have an extra. I'll be dividing my points based off of the number of waffles that I make. But down in the description box, I'll link the original recipe, which makes one large waffle or probably two to three of the small waffles. So look at how delicious that looks. So here are our completed mini waffles. It ended up making four. I didn't quite have enough batter for a fifth one. So these end up being two points a piece, which is not bad for a little mini waffle. And I'm telling you, don't omit the cinnamon. The cinnamon makes them so incredibly good. So I'm gonna set these aside to cool and let's put our scrambled egg and sausage mixed together. Next up, grab another bowl and your eggs and we're gonna go ahead and crack our eggs into our bowl. I want to do two eggs-ish per day. I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, I have exactly ten left so we are going to do two eggs per day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those cracked up here and then we'll mix them together with one half of a cup of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. Once you get your eggs and your sausage nice and mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of almond milk, about an eighth of a cup just to give it some fluff. We're gonna add in some black pepper. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add in some of the Trader Joe's onion salt, which you know is my very favorite thing ever on eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of that. We'll give this another quick stir and we'll get our scrambled eggs going on the stove and put together our meal prep, but yum. So we've got our eggs cooking here on the stove. We're just gonna scramble these up. I'm gonna put together some strawberries and I'll be back to show you exactly what we're having for breakfast. So let's get our meal preps put together. So I have my adorable mini waffles. We are going to have one mini waffle each day. Like I said, there is an extra one, not a problem. It will not go to waste in this house. So I'm gonna put that on the big side of my meal prep container. And then here is my scrambled egg Jimmy Dean sausage mixture. So I wanna go ahead and divide this out as well and this i actually made enough for five days because i knew my husband would eat the rest of the eggs so i'm just going to go ahead and divide this out into my three meal prep containers and then i'm going to show you kind of what else i'm going to put together for the waffles so go ahead and divide that equally into each of the little sets of the small version of your meal prep container so there is our meal prep so far. We have our little mini waffle and our eggs and sausage. And then I went ahead and bagged up some fresh cut strawberries. So each day we will have a bag of strawberries. And then I have my sugar-free Mrs. Butterworth syrup. And I have these fun little mini containers. I do pick these up at my local Fred Meyer. So I am going to put a little bit of syrup in each one of my mini containers. So just take a couple tablespoons, maybe even closer to a tablespoon of syrup, and I'm gonna pop a lid on that, and I'm gonna put that in with my waffle. And then I'll just add a little bit of spray butter as well to my waffle, and then that's going to be our breakfast. So I'll get this all put together, and we'll go over all of the smart points. So here is our completed breakfast meal prep. So we have our mini waffle with just about a tablespoon, maybe two of syrup. So the syrup is zero points. The waffle came out to two points, not bad. My eggs are zero and then I have one smart point worth of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. And then of course I'm going to have some strawberries. So this is an entire breakfast is three smart points. Not bad for a waffle, eggs, sausage, and strawberries.
So the first recipe I'm gonna be showing you is part of my lunch. So I'm going to be making Jamie Eason's turkey salad. If you have not heard of her, she has a fantastic Instagram page. I will link it down in the description box below. But she has such great recipes. They're extremely low points, full of whole natural ingredients. So I decided to make her turkey salad. However, I decided to do it with chicken breast instead of turkey breast just because I already had chicken on hand in my meal prep. I wanted to keep it simple because my girlfriend's here so I didn't want it to take as long as it normally does to do the meal prep. So I just used what I had on hand which was chicken breasts. So let me show you what's in the chicken salad. So first you're going to need some boneless skinless chicken breasts. I went ahead and just cooked these in my instant pot and I'll show you the quickest fastest way to shred these up. You'll also need some pink Himalayan sea salt, some Dijon mustard, some non-fat plain Greek yogurt, some sugar, whatever you would like to use as a sugar alternative. I'm gonna be using Truvia. Some fresh, delicious, crispy celery, same with some green onions, and lastly, some apple cider vinegar. So let's put together this chicken salad. So the fastest way in the world to shred chicken breast is using your handheld mixer. So go ahead and put it into your chicken breast and you're just going to turn it on kind of a low speed and you just wanna carefully shred up all your chicken. It's going to take a while, it's going to fling chicken, but it is really the fastest, easiest way to nicely shred up your chicken. And your chicken comes out perfectly shredded every single time. So now we're gonna chop up our green onions and our celery. So the first thing we're gonna do is chop up our celery. You need quite a few stalks. I'm actually quadrupling, six times in the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two, four, six, eight, ten, about 10 stalks of celery. And then I'm just gonna add it directly here into my chicken. Once you get your celery all chopped up into your chicken, we're gonna go ahead and chop up quite a few green onions and add those into the bowl as well. We're gonna make up the sauce for our chicken salad. So what I have measured out here is six ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. And to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. So add the one teaspoon. Also to that, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of Truvia or any sweetener alternative of your choice. You're also going to add four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and eight tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And then you're gonna give this a big stir, get everything nice and incorporated together, and then we'll be ready to add this in with our shredded chicken, our green onions, and our celery. And as far as the recipe goes, I didn't realize the recipe makes eight servings, so I do not need to add any additional anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the recipe because I'm looking at needing about eight servings because I'm gonna have this for lunches for the entire week even when my girlfriend is here so that was my mistake the recipe is plenty for eight servings so you're gonna want to get that nice and mixed together and let's add it into our chicken once you get your dressing all mixed together we're gonna go ahead and add that in here to our shredded chicken and our green onions and celery mixture you guys I tasted just a little bit of this sauce it is so good. I don't know why it's so good. I think it's the combination of the Dijon and the apple cider vinegar with the sweetness of the Trivia. But you guys, it's so incredibly delicious. So we're just gonna give this a stir until all of our chicken and everything is nice and incorporated in with our sauce. And then our salad's done. And we're gonna go ahead and put this into the fridge while we put together the rest of our lunch prep. But you guys, I'm really excited about this. It is incredibly, the sauce is incredibly delicious. So I'll give it a little try. I'll be back to show you the completed chicken salad once I get everything nice and mixed together. So here's our completed Jamie Eason chicken salad. 
Okay, I tried this to die for. I am making this over and over again, and the points are so incredibly low. I can't wait to share those with you guys at the end. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge, and we're gonna get started on the second recipe for our lunch prep. The second part of my lunches this week is going to be ranch potato salad. It is summer, it is potato salad season, and I thought how good would this be paired with my chicken salad. I think I'm gonna wrap it in some of those romaine lettuce wraps. I'm so excited. So I'll show you the completed lunch when we're done, but let's make ourselves some ranch potato salad. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some fat-free ranch dressing, light mayo, salt and pepper, three potatoes you can use russet or gold i prefer gold potatoes you'll need some celery hearts some green onions and some frozen peas so easy peasy no pun on the peas let's get started on our potato salad so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and peel and dice our three potatoes slice up our celery slice up our green onions i'm going to go ahead and put my potatoes directly in my pan get those boiling on the stove and then some celery and onions in my other little bowl here so let's get peeling and a chopping together the rest of our potato salad ingredients so what I have here is my celery and my green onion to that I'm going to be adding half of a cup of frozen peas also to that I'm going to be adding half of a cup of fat free ranch and I'm also going to be adding one quarter cup of light mayo and then I'm going to give that a nice big stir, get everything nice and incorporated together. And then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we'll add this directly to our pre-cooked and cooled. I've let them cool. They've been cooling a bit now, the potatoes. And then our ranch potato salad will be completed. To finalize our ranch potato salad, we're going to go ahead and add in our mixed parts of our salad to our pre-done potatoes and then we're just going to give this a nice stir now you can add some extra salt and pepper just kind of to your taste but this looks so delicious and what a nice side to have with those chicken salad lettuce wraps it'll be a nice summer delicious dinner so there is your completed ranch potato salad so here is my completed lunches for this week so i have one fifth i went ahead and divided our potato salad into five equal servings so one fifth of the potato salad is only four smart points you can't beat that for ranch potato salad and that's a lot for four smart points and then i went ahead and divided our chicken salad into eight equal servings the chicken salad you guys is zero points zero so you could definitely not beat that because it is delicious. So my plan is to take my chicken salad and I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to a couple of romaine leaf boats and I'm just going to have it with a lettuce leaf. I'll have my four smart points worth of my ranch potato salad. So, so far we are at four points. I'm also going to be pairing that with some blueberries and then of course my romaine boats. And then for dessert, I'm gonna go ahead and have one of my Choco Wright peanut butter cup patty two packs. These little peanut butter patties are one point a piece. So the package is only two smart points. So it'll be a nice peanut buttery sweet treat after lunch. And again, you can have two peanut butter cups for two points. I got this off of Protein Wise's website. If you click the link down in my description box, you will save $10 off your first order. And there are so many fantastic WW friendly things on there. I love these peanut butter cups. These are amazing. And for two peanut butter cups for two points, you can't beat it. So if you click the link again, you'll save $10. Again, can't beat that either. So that's two points for the peanut butter cups, four points for the potato salad. So this entire lunch is a total of six smart points. 
So here's what I'm gonna be taking for snacks for this upcoming week. And again, I only need three days worth. Uh, my girlfriend is here Monday and Tuesday, so this is for Wednesday through Friday. So first, I'm gonna be taking one of my Tan and Light and Fit Two Good Yogurts. You guys know I'm loving these. Two grams of sugar, and it's naturally occurring sugar. Nothing added, and I really like these yogurts. I think they have better flavor. They're thick. I love these. So I'm gonna be taking one of those, and I'm gonna top it with this other granola that I just got i've had this before but this granola is so good this is the julian bakery pro granola in vanilla cluster this one is actually vegan so if there's any of you vegan people out there this granola is perfect for you here are the stats on the granola you can have one half of a cup of this granola for only two smart points you can't beat it it is paleo it's keto there's nothing artificial gluten-free, grain-free, non-GMO, and actually not even any preservatives. And this particular one, the protein source is a pea protein, and that's what makes it vegan. So I really like these granolas. Again, you can have half a cup for two points, or what I do is I just top my little yogurt cup here with about a tablespoon, and it's zero points. And it just adds that perfect crunch to your yogurt. So you can buy this on Julian Bakery's website. If you click the link down in my description box, enter the code so make sure you click the link if you don't use the link in the description box you won't be able to use the code and the code will give you 10 percent off and free shipping so absolutely the best price using that link in that code off of the julian bakery website so check it out they have tons of flavors they're all delicious so i'm gonna do my yogurt cup for two points my granola for zero I'm also going to be having some of this perky jerky. This is only one smart point per serving. It is delicious. So this is just the original and this is the turkey jerky. So I had a really good coupon for this, so I grabbed it. Not sorry I did because it's really good. And again, one smart point per serving. And lastly, for my morning snack, as usual, I'm gonna be having my Built Bar, my favorite thing in the entire world. So this week I'm gonna be doing the blueberry cheesecake, which I am in love with, strawberry and orange, which are two of my other favorite flavors. These bars are three smart points. They are 110 calories with 15 grams of protein and four grams of sugar, four fiber, and I'm sorry, four fat and six fiber. These bars taste like a candy bar and they're only three smart points. So you can order these off of builtbar.com. Use the code here on the screen for 10% off and free shipping. So if you haven't jumped on the Built Bar train, it's time guys, because the Built Bars are delicious. If you have questions on how to order or what you should order, just send me a message. I'd be happy to help. So three points for the Built Bar, one point for the Perky Jerky, two points for the yogurt topped with the Julian Bakery granola. So that is what I'm taking for snacks. I hope you enjoyed another episode of this WW Weekly Meal Prep. These three recipes, again, you guys are so incredibly good. You cannot go wrong. I think the entire family would enjoy these recipes. That chicken salad is so incredibly delicious. And for zero points, who'd have known? So make sure that you check out all of the recipes down in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, hello, and I'd like to welcome you. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's meal prep and what recipes you're gonna try. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.